Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie and this video is all about how our family stays warm living in an RV in the Pacific Northwest. <music> guys welcome back um, I am Laura Wilkie I'm a Christian stay-at-home homeschool mama I have seven little ones and I am excited that you guys are here this is mother culture Monday and yeah we are in our RV this is our second winter that we are in an RV and we are in the Pacific Northwest so way up lots of snow and um, a lot of people are asking are you guys warm enough how do you stay warm do you need anything and I wanted to give you guys some tips and information on how our family is staying warm in the RV. No, we are not professionals. We um, we are a family of nine. We do have an extra large RV, so everybody is comfy and cozy. But um, this is our second winter. We learned a lot last winter going through the first time, um, just kind of trial and error, really, just getting some tips from online and then seeing what works for us and what didn't. So maybe if you are in the same situation, maybe this video will be helpful for you as well. All right, the first thing and probably the most obvious is skirting around the RV. All the way around, um, we do have an RV with multiple slide outs. So we go all the way around the RV. The slide outs um, are not skirted unless they are able to be some of them are too high in as far as height wise so it's a little tricky so we don't skirt those we just skirt around everything else um, my husband just gets the foam boards from a hardware store like home depot or lowe's and puts it all the way around the rv and we are using the same ones this year that we used last year so it's a little expensive the first year and then after that you've already um got it so you just keep going um but like I said, he does skirt that all the way around the RV. That helps so much. It doesn't seem like it would, but it totally does. The next thing is the floors. The floors get super cold. So there's a couple things you can do to combat that. One thing that we have found is you can put down rugs. That's super helpful. Um, another tip, if you don't have rugs or blankets, will work as well. And of course, wearing slippers or house shoes when you're walking around inside just definitely helps with that um, kind of cold floor so you don't have to have that um, the next thing that we do is we absolutely dress in layers um, I think that's kind of a given for cold weather areas anyways whether you're in an RV or a house or something else um, but yeah I had to learn that because we were coming from Texas and in Texas it was a little bit different but here it is totally um, double up on everything I mean everything socks we have double up um, maybe a lighter weight one with a heavier one on top um, wool or wool blend is a good way to go if you can find those they are pricey but maybe if you can invest in a couple pairs one year and then the next year a couple more and kind of build your collection that helps then we always have on a base layer and then an, an overclose as well so um, the kids usually keep their base layer, and even the adults we keep our base layers on all the time it's basically a long sleeve top and pants like leggings and then um, everything goes over that so pajamas would go over that or you could just leave it as that and wear that as pajamas and then overclothes goes over that as well so that might be another shirt it might be a hoodie it might be a shirt and a hoodie or a sweater or a flannel or something like that all of that goes on top so just dressing in multiple layers definitely helps keep you cozy and warm um, the next thing is windows shades help so much to keep them um, keep your house cozy I will say I always open ours up though because I like I like the scenery I like looking out the windows and seeing the beautiful snow seeing the kids playing or things like that so I do keep them open but in the evenings when it's um, starting to cool off even more and we're wanting to kind of warm up the house a little bit before bed we definitely close all the shades to help with that all right, the next thing I have is heaters. That is an obvious one. And our RV actually was equipped with an, or is equipped with a propane heater. But we found that it was easier for us to just use the electric ones that we can plug in for multiple reasons. The propane, um, a couple times we would run out of propane in the middle of the night and that is not fun. So we um, found that it was easier my husband also found that he didn't um, want to have to keep going and refilling the propane tanks as frequently and if you're using them for your heater and your cooking and your water heater and everything else they go out fast so 
he found that it was just so much easier and efficient for us as far as time goes um, to just use the electric. The cost was about the same, so it wasn't a big thing to just switch to using the electric ones, and that's what we have preferred. So we've used a couple ones. We used this oil one, but we did find that although it does heat well, it, it falls over, it fell over once and it was kind of pricey. So when it fell over one time because the kids were playing and it falls over, it bent it and broke it. It just was done for. So it was kind of a bummer. We do have the wall heater like this that runs through the electric and that is super easy to use and helps a ton. But that is only in our living room. We have two other bedrooms that we needed to heat. So for the bedrooms, we actually use these smaller heaters. They work perfectly. They do have the little um, safety thing where if they start to fall over or get knocked over, they will turn off. So that is exciting. And then under the undercarriage, we had a couple times last winter where we had frozen pipes. And my husband found just a simple, small heater like this plugged in and just kind of running um, regularly. You can set it to a certain temperature so that when it hits that temperature, it shuts off until it gumps back on for to get back up to that temperature. And he keeps that on all winter under there where the pipes are and that helps to keep them from freezing. Now, sometimes they will still freeze because that actually is only in the front of the RV where the front pipes are. The back um, pipes are not in a compartment like that, so we weren't able to do that. And when those would freeze, it would actually freeze up the kitchen as well. That was unfortunate and the way we combated that was we invested in one of these heaters and this my husband was able to plug in like when he would get up in the morning and then he would go about all his morning things getting ready and on the way to work he would unplug it and the pipes were already unfrozen and were ready to go maybe 15 20 minutes something like that and they were ready to go so that helped as well um anytime that you are cooking it warms up your house it doesn't matter what kind of house you have so winter is a good time to cook things on the stove or in the oven, cornbread, chili, soups, all of those things. I absolutely adore and love my Instapot. We use it constantly, but winter is a good time to put it on the stove so that you can get, um, get the heat going through the house. So that is another little helpful tip that you may not have considered. And then sleeping and nighttime is the last thing I wanted to talk about. A couple of things here. Definitely we still keep, if it is super cold, we'll keep on our base layer and then add pajamas on top of that. The kids might have footed fuzzy pajamas, which are super warm. Blankets are the same way, extra warm blankets. We found out um, kind of the thicker fleecy ones were warmer obviously, or wool ones or things like that versus some of the thinner options that are available. Um, also, we found that the comforters were super warm and of course you can get a heated blanket as well if you wanted to go that route. Um, another thing that my husband preferred to do on a couple nights when it was super cold is he would just wear his hoodie and pull the hat over the top. You know when you keep your head warm, um, your, your heat stays in. Same with your feet. So if you're wearing socks and you're wearing a hat at bedtime, you will stay extra warm. So there's all kinds of different ways to do a hat or socks overnight, but anything like that. And then of course, uh, you may not know this, I just learned about them, but fleece lined leggings. I was so excited when I learned about these. The kids have them. They even have um, fleece lined jeans that my boys had as well. And those were super helpful, super cozy and comfy because it was just, again, that extra cozy layer to keep you warm. So that is how it goes in the RV. Um, we're doing great. This will be our second winter and we um, we are staying warm. So those are the, I hope these tips kind of help you guys. Um, if you haven't already, hit the notification bell to get updates on upcoming videos and I will catch you guys later.